What you're looking at right now might appear to be a pretty standard simplex pull station. You can see it says fire alarm at the top. It says pull down. To activate this station, you just pull the handle out like that. It takes a simplex B key to reset it, stick the key in, open it up, close it. But this is actually a pretty special pull station designed for a really specific application. So let's go ahead and get started. This right here is not a standard simplex T-bar. This is, they do look really similar. Obviously the two logos are slightly different because this one's older, but in terms of the functionality and the appearance of it, they look pretty much identical. This pull station, if you flip it over, just has a simple button on the back and it has screw terminals. It's just a conventional pull station. Nothing much to say about it. This on the other hand, if you flip it over, has two contacts. So you can see that this button here is a pretty hefty button. So two go to these terminals here, the other two go to these terminals here. So this terminal block here, as you can see, has two contacts. Uh, when you activate this pull station, it's actually opening, or actually rather closing, two sets of contacts right here. But that's actually not what makes this pull station special. You can see this pull station, weirdly enough, has a sticker at the top of the pull station. It's really unusual to see that. Generally, you'll see the sticker inside the pull station, which, as you can see here, this pull station has nothing inside. The only thing you see here is actually a button, which, unlike a standard simplex pull station, this is a metal button. So, really interesting there. Again, this pull station might not seem like it's that interesting. I mean, it has two contacts and it has a button. So, why is that interesting? Well, this pull station is what you call intrinsically safe. So, intrinsically safe devices are devices that when you activate them or when you do anything with them, it is not possible for them to make a spark. Uh, you want that in certain applications, especially hazardous applications where you have maybe flammable gases, something that could rapidly combust and cause an issue. Um, so you want intrinsically safe fixtures such as light switches because obviously, I'm not sure if you guys have ever done this, but if you turn on a light switch sometimes at night, you might be able to see a little spark in there because you're just making a contact. Um, and as the electricity makes continuity through that contact, it makes a spark. This device here will not do that. So in the event that you have this in a hazardous application, it's actually really important for fire alarm devices to be fail safe. I mean, these devices right here are used in the event of an emergency. It's kind of implied that if someone's pulling a fire alarm pole station, something isn't right. So let's say you have a plant where you're manufacturing something and you have high volumes of toxic gas that happens to be flammable and you have an emergency where some of that toxic gas maybe is at risk of exploding or something like that, or it's in the air and you need to evacuate the building and you pull this pull station and it just so happens to be a very cheap pull station that when you pull that pull station, for whatever reason, maybe it's a metal pull station, maybe it's um, something to do with the electrical contact, but as you pull it, it makes a spark. And just like pretty much any gas leak where you have a flammable gas, any spark will just cause a massive explosion. And then basically um, to put things in a PG way, you're, you're not really gonna need the pull station anymore because it's over. So this pull station is, like I've said in five different ways, a pull station that is intrinsically safe and will not produce any harmful sparks. So that's that. Now I got this pull station in a lot with a bunch of other pull stations just like this one. This particular one I cleaned up. This one was in decent condition. Obviously the front is okay. If you go ahead and look at the back, you can see there's a lot of corrosion on this unit because obviously when you need pull stations such as this one that are intrinsically safe, they're probably gonna be used in an environment that is pretty abusive to these devices. This one, if you think this is in bad condition, then I'm gonna show you some of the other ones that I have. So here's the pull station I just showed you, and then here is one that I have not cleaned yet. So you can see there's quite a difference. This one is absolutely filthy. The plastic housing is in decent condition. Obviously it's dirty, but that cleans up. You can see though that the locks on these pull stations have just been completely eaten away. Uh, I'm not sure what this has come in contact with, but some sort of corrosive agent has clearly come in contact with all of these because you can see pretty much every single lock has been destroyed. The finish is gone. The locks themselves are still functional, which is surprising. I'm not sure if I should be impressed or disappointed because these pull stations clearly are not that old. I mean, that is the new Simplex logo. So 
I don't think these are more than 10 years old, but also at the same time, it was clearly a very harsh environment. So here's a simplex B key, slide that in there. This pull station still opens. Check that out. And the inside is in decent condition, but so yeah, that's that. See, here's the label one more time. You can see it is safe for class one, two, and three. Um, a bunch of other stuff that I don't understand. Hazardous location per control drawing. But yeah, so that's well, I went ahead and put together a setup that you might see in a real building. Obviously, if you have an application where you need these intrinsically safe pull stations, these standard horn strobes are not going to cut it. I mean, the fundamental principle of how a Xenon strobe works is that, in very simple terms, there's a capacitor in here that holds a very high voltage, and over and over again, that capacitor basically gets charged up and then discharges rapidly. Um, that Xenon flash tube produces a very bright flash of light, which is basically a spark. Um, so I'm assuming that that isn't intrinsically safe, you know, to have a massive spark go off. But who knows? Uh, I don't have anything that's intrinsically safe in terms of devices, so this will have to cut it. So fire alarm, pull down. Oh, I didn't turn on the power. All right, this time we're going to turn on the power. Fire alarm, pull down. Not sure if these have any similarity to the explosion proof pull stations. For all I know, these could be in the same category, but um, I have seen a lot of the metal RSG and uh, SIGCOM pull stations uh, identified as explosion proof. So that's interesting. Um, I'd have to do some more research on that. So just a quick comparison before I end this video. This is the pull station that I just showed you. This is a slightly newer addressable pull station. You can see they share the same logo. Obviously they do look pretty similar on the front, but if you take a look at the back, this one is nothing alike. This one is addressable. It's got probably a really cheap button. If you look inside, it, all it is is just a little flimsy little snap-in style button. Nothing like that robust metal button. Probably just one contact. I mean, it is an addressable device, so this is literally what comes out of the button. Metal. I think this is made out of the same material, honestly. Here's an older version of this pull station. I don't think this one is intrinsically safe because it's just a standard dual contact pull station. But you can see, pretty similar in the sense that this one does have a metal button. This one's a 4251-21. But, you know, it operates the same way. These have been around for a long time. And then this one also has a, a non-intrinsically safe counterpart. I believe the model is 2099. 9101 which is just the standard version of this but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about these pull stations um it's definitely pretty interesting i honestly didn't expect these to be any more than just standard pull stations when i bought them but i guess that was a pleasant surprise that these were something interesting but i mean there's not that much else to say i wish i could make an elaborate video today but it is a school night i honestly should be maybe doing some work instead of tiddling around with fire alarm devices but that's pretty much it. Take care, guys. I'm going to be so honest, guys. I kind of regret spending the last, like, two hours dilly-dallying. Now we got so much work to do. It's, like, 1 a.m. here. Um, if anyone knows anything about this calculus 